Today is the day that I'm gonna get my septic tub, septic tank pumped. Try to say that five times fast. That's kind of a tongue twister. Um, I managed to take a quick shower this morning, but paranoid at the same time that we were gonna have like a backup because it's actually raining. So it's like, oh, <laughs> I don't like need the rain plus a backed up septic tank. Not a good combination actually. Um, but I did manage to squeeze in a quick shower. Um, I've been very, very conservative on uh, flushing the toilet because that's exactly what they told us is to be very conservative on flushing the toilet uh, so that's what we've kind of been doing I don't know how people I mean like you know I let me just tell you a story so Brian's cousin was married to uh, a Japanese lady full-blown Japanese and um, <clears throat> her her how they lived their life while they were married she would not allow them to flush the toilet it was like so many like flushes that you could i don't know it was just like weirdest thing so they would not be allowed to flush the toilet and they all had to bathe in the same bath water it was bizarre i don't know what the whole deal was with all of that but anyway they're no longer married anymore but nonetheless uh, yeah, it was just kind of like a weird thing. So like whenever we went over there, like none of their toilets uh, were flushed, but it's like, I flushed them. It's like when I went to the bathroom, I flushed and, uh, I just never, I don't know. It was just weird stuff. So anyway, so it's just kind of been a little strange here. Like we've been doing like every three flushes, I guess. I know it sounds so gross. But hey, you know, we just got to conserve and make sure that nothing gets backed up anymore. So yeah, so I'm just kind of waiting. I did call a few minutes ago and I did confirm uh, a the time because they're supposed to be here between 10 and 2 o'clock, which is such a huge window. But um, they're going to be here between 10 and 2 o'clock. And then afterwards, I have to run to the store and pick up a few things that we needed here. I'm actually going to be making my tomato and tortellini soup for dinner tonight. So I'm going to go ahead. I want to get that started. Not that it really needs to cook for a long period of time because I don't really think that it does. But I am just making one can of tomato soup, which is like the family size. And then just a small um, package of the tortellini, which I will show you guys later on. I also wanted to uh, address the timing of all of my videos. So I'm going to try to, I don't know if I'm going to do it now or if it's going to be in the new year, but the timing of all of my videos are not going to be posted first thing in the morning. I think I'm going to post, make sure that they are post or scheduled for an evening start time, probably around six o'clock. I'm not exactly sure. So like, for example, this video right now that I'm filming, talking to you guys, instead of me rushing to get it done and uh, edited and up by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, I'm not going to rush and get it all done in one same day. That way it's up the next morning. I'm going to be able to let it upload, get the editing done, add the links that I need to add so I don't get bitched at about it. She's gone, so it doesn't even matter. I, I deleted her. Um, anyway, so I, uh, I just want to be able to take my time and make sure that everything is done correctly. And if I say that I'm going to add a link, that I want to make sure that I add the link. Because I do forget. Honest to God, I do forget to, to add a link. If I say I'm going to add a link, I totally forget. I get, I get to the editing of everything and I kind of just like skim through for certain things. And I know pretty much that if I do a video throughout the day, there's not a lot of editing that I have to do because I'm not playing any music that's going to get copyrighted. I'm not doing anything or saying anything that needs to be edited. So I kind of just like skip through videos that are like, you know, done at home. So that's kind of why I tend to forget to add the links because I don't go through a lot of the video and to for it to remind me to add the links. You guys kind of understand what I'm saying. I'm getting really hot. So hold on a second. <laughs> Okay, whew, hot. Um, so anyway, so yeah, I do tend to forget. Uh, I, I try not to, but I do forget. So I do apologize for that. For those of you who do not say anything ugly to me for not, for, for not 
remembering, I totally appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Because I do forget. It's crazy, but I do. Um, like yesterday, the video that I posted, so the video that went live this morning of like my Motivation Monday, when I went to edit that and um, add all my music and stuff to it, I meant to do a scan of how messy my kitchen was while I was talking about that I needed to clean my kitchen. Completely forgot to add that in there. Yeah, completely forgot to add that in there. So I do tend to forget and I do apologize for that. And I definitely want to make sure that I get better at doing stuff like that. Like in the next year, in the next day. Um, I just want to make sure that I do all that stuff. Because I don't want to frustrate anybody. And I don't want to make anybody like upset or angry and be like, oh my gosh, she forgot to add the link. But you know, I've watched videos before and I've noticed some people forgot their link. And I don't like send them a comment saying you forgot the link oh my god this is your job you should remember to do this if you had a job you'd probably get fired blah 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 like yeah 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 people forget people get busy you know this i and i don't want to say like this is not a priority for me because it is always a priority for me but i get busy doing normal everyday house chores my septic backed up yesterday completely forgot to add that clip into the editing because of my because all I was doing is thinking of my septic and having a septic guy here and scheduling a time for them to come out and try it's just one of those things where life happens people forget and if we do forget to add the links don't worry about it I always say if it's an Amazon I have a link always 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 post it in the description box below of my full amazon link if i don't put the actual link to say a sh the shoes or a shirt or whatever it is that i'm sharing if i don't put that actual link in the description box below by god you could always click that main amazon link and you can go look through all of my little storefronts there because I do have them categorized. House and home, beauty, fashion, men's, or it says Brian's picks, technology. They're all separated in categories. So you will be able to find whatever it is that I did not personally link below. You will be able to find it in that one Amazon link. So I'm just saying because I always try to put all of my stuff over in my Amazon market. So it's not so hard to find. So it's like I can't, sometimes I don't put individual links. It's always going to be in that Amazon market link. Always, always, always. So just say it. So, with that being said, I, before those guys get here, because it's, I can't even tell what time it is, 9.36, and they said anywhere between 10 and 2, uh, I'm going to put some pants on, because I am not, I don't have any pants on right now, but I do have this cute little Christmas shirt on, and this is as low as I'm going to go, it says Merry Christmas, got like a cute little truck on it, I bought this last year, two years ago, it's a bit tight, not going to lie. It's a bit tight, but guess what? I'm wearing it and it's cute. And I'll probably end up throwing on a cardigan later on with it if I walk out the door because the temperatures are gonna start dropping and so it's gonna get cold outside. But I'm gonna put some pants on and I'm gonna make up my bed and I'm gonna get my day started. And I'm gonna wait for these guys to come pump my septic tank. So yesterday it's funny, okay. Yesterday's funny. So Brian came home and he dug up the hole. I should take you guys outside and show you guys the hole. Hold please. All right, so now uh, this is thing is all filled with water because it's raining. I told you guys, so not good because this rainwater seeps into my septic tank and that's what also causes overflow. Anyhow, but this is the uh, lid. Way over there is the lid and Brian kind of lifted it up the other day and it's definitely full. It's probably very full now because of all this rain, which sucks. But anyway, so <laughs> yeah. Brian's like, Merry Christmas, shitter's full. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Okay, you had to be here, but I just thought it was funny. So that's just our like humor, I suppose. If you guys watch uh, Christmas Vacation, you guys know what I'm talking about. But that's when Cousin Eddie is emptying his septic or his, you know, crapper from his trailer. And he says, 
all right so anyway I did put pants on by the way to go outside just so you know <laughs> just so you guys know I did not go outside without pants I have pants on and I see I have pants on just so you know all righty so I am gonna make up the bed and uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get my day started and hopefully these guys will be here earlier than later. That's what I'm hoping. So uh, we shall see. I'll see you guys uh, in a little bit. Bye. All right, you guys can tell I've changed my shirt. <laughs> I um, had to do my intro and my outro for my Christmas home tour video and that other shirt that I was wearing uh, I was like a Pillsbury dough package it was like popping at the seams so I decided to just nip that shirt in the bud and I changed it to something a little bit more comfortable and less restricting because that shirt was very very restricting constricting it was like tight so it was constricting anyway I didn't like it, so I took it off. I'll probably end up giving it to my mother because she could probably wear it. She's a lot smaller than I am, so I'll probably just give it to her. But anyway, yeah, so I just wanted to go ahead and film my intro to my home tour and then the outro, so I needed to do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and go edit that because that's actually going up tonight at 6 o'clock. Today's Tuesday. It's going up tonight at 6 o'clock, so I need to go in there and edit that video and make sure that everything is up to par. And then um, I'm still waiting for the uh, pooper tank to show up. To, to show up? To show up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Bye. Alrighty, so the septic guys just called and they said they should be here about 1 or 1.30, which it is only 11.15 right now. So I thought while I'm waiting for them, I'm just going to go ahead and write out some of my Christmas cards and get those ones mailed off. Um, for the, those who have already sent the Christmas cards, I'm just going to go ahead and get yours um, done and sent off. And then I'll try to go to my P.O. box. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go out anymore today. I just really don't like going out after 2 o'clock. So, um, and I'm just not like feeling it and it's yucky and rainy and cold outside. So I might just probably skip it and I'll just probably go tomorrow. So that's probably what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to sit here and do Christmas cards and then, uh, yeah, it'll be a good time to waste while I'm waiting for them to come do this. So, and I'm watching white Christmas on the TV in there and listening to it. So, uh, yeah, let's get these Christmas cards done. <laughs> Oh 
Christmas, oh Christmas, how we long for you. Christmas, oh Christmas, the child is born new. So it is about 1.15 and the pooper scooper people haven't showed up yet. So I am going to start making my tortellini tomato soup. And I actually just pulled a recipe off of Google just, um, just to follow... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I don't even know what I was trying to say. I pulled a recipe off of Google. That's how I'm going to make this. So <clears throat> basically, I do have some of the stuff laid out here already. I just washed this board and it's a little wet. So anyway, a tablespoon of olive oil, butter, uh, garlic, minced flour, and two cups of chicken broth or veggie broth. I am only making like one can of this soup. So I don't even know if it actually even asks for that. One can of diced tomatoes, which I have right here. Um, one full of canned crushed tomatoes. I don't know if I have crushed. Two dashes of seasoning. Brown sugar. Blah, blah, blah. It doesn't even say anything about putting like this in there. But I'm. that's kind of how I'm going to do it. I don't know. I'm going to do it like my way and then kind of follow along with some of the spices and stuff on here. And then I'm still going to add all this stuff. And I'm going to add an onion. And I'm still going to do, well, I'm not going to do this onion because this one is probably pretty bad. So I'm going to do this onion because I used that the other day. So yeah, I'm just going to do all this. And this is just a small tortellini that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to follow along with what this says. And then I'm going to do the tomato soup. Please bear with me with all of this stuff because uh, this is the first time I've ever made this. And when I watched Jessica Braun do hers the other day, hers was so simple. She actually used tomato soup. So not exactly sure. But I'm going to follow along with the like spices and stuff. And then I'm going to do it that way. So that's what I'm going to do. the night before Christmas I was closing down for business in my little prison shop when the bell on the door jingled once more and then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas on, this Christmas on. So I'm gonna let that simmer for a little bit and then I will go ahead and add all of my like tortellini noodles and stuff in a little while. Um, the guys are actually here. Well, one of them is here for the septic and although Brian dug up the septic holder or septic lid, he didn't dig up the other lid. There's two lids and we didn't know that. So, oh my God, I'm so hoping that it doesn't turn into something horrible because he said he'd have to cut the cement where the carport is at. Oh God, no. Because the guys who built the carport knew not to put it on the septic line. So we're hoping that that's the, the deal. So I guess we're just waiting to see how this all plays out. 
But my soup, actually, the tomato soup and everything, all that stuff smelled so good. I sauteed all the onion and the um, the little uh, blah, 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 virgin, the oil and the butter and the onion or whatever. I sauteed that and then I put all the other stuff in. It was so it's smelling really, really good. So I'm excited to eat that. It looks like it's going to be delicious. I'm debating... I'm gonna, I'll put one set of tortellini noodles in first, and then I'm gonna, then I'll see if I need the other ones, because I'm not sure yet, so we shall see. Stay tuned, stay tuned, folks. And then um, I will definitely link this, the recipe that I've kind of semi-followed with all of the like spices and everything, I will link that below. Uh, but I did use the cans of soup, so I'm not even sure. I need to read all that and make sure, but whatever. I like doing things my way. I didn't usually follow directions very well, so I just kind of like do my thing and whatever. So we shall see. I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. So the big truck is here. It's parked right over there. And these are the two guys that are going to be pumping. I hope that they find the other lid. Oh my God, because it doesn't look like he's finding it. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. So right now, it's only costing us $650 to pay for some shit to be pumped out of the fur. But these guys have a really shit job. They really do. Crap. Oh my god. Yeah, and we're just going to kind of play it by ear for a while and see how this goes. And then we're just going to kind of go from there. Because he kind of said we... Some piping and all kinds of stuff. We're not sure because the guy was supposed to build the carport before the pipes. And they're saying that he built it on top. He didn't build it on top of that. No, he did not. So. Oh my gosh. So the one guy is still here pumping the septic tank and basically what they're saying is that that this thing which is the carport concrete is sitting on top of this pipe and the pipe goes from over here and it crosses over here so they'd have to cut out like this part of the concrete in order to dig out this line and put a new line in. But we were told by the builder of this carport that they did not build on it and they were just completely avoiding that. But they're saying no because the uh, pipe, PVC piping is bent. So I don't know. <clears throat> we're not exactly sure what the deal is, but whatever. All I know is we paid $650 and now it's pumped. So time to sell. Let's move. <laughs> <laughs> As I just told Brian, I'm like, all right, we got a new AC this year. We just got a new hot water heater. We just got our septic pumped. Let's put this house up for sale and get out. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> That's funny. You never know. We were looking last night, so never know when that might happen. If we find something, you never know. Oh my gosh, but he's been here now. What time did they show up? Maybe it's 2.25, so maybe they showed up, oh, I don't know, let's see. Let's see, when did I call Bri? I don't know. Da, 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 da. Recent, I called Brian. Oh, why doesn't it do this? It should show me my, like, it does show me my contacts, but it shows me recent, um, 149, so 150, so they've been here for about, Almost 45 minutes, this guy, this guy has. So, and then he was explaining to me what the deal was. So, we shall see. We shall see. Anyway, I'm just happy that it's being pumped and hopefully it'll, it'll be fine. Hopefully it'll be fine. And he said, no putting Red X inside of your tank. Never, ever, ever put Red X inside of there. Yeast or buttermilk. Who's ever heard of buttermilk in your septic tank? What? Oh my gosh. I've never heard of putting buttermilk in your septic tank. And I said, well, where do you pour that in? He's like, just, you know, in your sink, toilet, whatever, or directly in the tank itself. I'm like, okay. I, you know, you'd think that they... You would think that there's tablets that you use to, to drop in there for, you know, to break down all that crap, literally. Um, see, I grew up on a septic tank, so I knew growing up on one that you have to have those pumped every, like, three to five years. Now, when I was growing up, our septic tank, 
it was because, you know, I had, you know, it was me and my mom, my dad, my sister, and my brother was a baby, so he was, like, in diapers and stuff, so, um, so it was just the four of us, but they're literally saying, like, for two people, it should only be pumped every five years. If this house had four people living in it, then every three years would be sufficient, but he goes, because it's just the two of us, it should have been done every five years, so we should have had this done, like, three years ago, so there's a whole lot of buildup of in there that guy that poor guy i mean what a bad job he has like seriously what a bad job i mean i have so many jokes and i'm refraining i'm refraining from sharing a lot of my jokes because poor guy i mean we thought cousin eddie <laughs> i mean he is kind of cousin eddie it's kind of funny Ooh. Poor guy, poor guy, poor guy. Now he's using our hose to clear off his hose. I'm just watching him on the camera. It's kind of funny. I'm boring, you guys, though. So boring, right? <laughs> All right, you guys. So septic has been pumped. Let's just hope it holds out until we actually do decide to move. Uh, <clears throat> I did put the tortellini in a little bit ago and then it started cooking really, you know, like boiling. So I kind of shut it off and I did sample it and it actually tastes really, really good. So, um, this is actually what it looks like. And, uh, I actually think it tastes really, really good. I'm really happy the way that it turned out. So, um, I'll probably have like some garlic bread or something with it later. And this is going to be my dinner for tonight and probably my lunch for tomorrow. So I'm very, very happy about it. Like I said, it tastes delicious. And uh, that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. Uh, I think tomorrow, um, let's see, tomorrow, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything tomorrow either, um, but I will start wrapping up some gifts tomorrow. I do have a gift here that I need to start wrapping. This is my dad's. My mom and dad are actually coming in for Christmas as of right now. My parents will be here for Christmas. They're coming in Christmas Day. And then they're probably just going to stay one night and then just go home the next day. So, I have a gift here for my dad. I'll probably pick him up a couple of other things. And then I have a gift for my mom. And then I will pick up a couple other things for her as well. But I do need to wrap, like, my sister's gifts and my brother, my sister-in-law, the baby stuff. And then send all that stuff back with my mom and dad when they leave here. But I'll probably do some wrapping tomorrow and probably run to the store really quick earlier in the, in the morning. Um, but yeah, for the most part, today, just waiting for the septic guys. And it happened. They came. They pumped. And uh, $600 later, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.